Hi, my name is Anthony. Uh, right behind me, I have my Ifinity display sitting here. Um, I'm gonna. A lot of people have been asking me questions how I hook all this up and how it all works. So I'm doing a little video here uh, today to show you all the parts that I I bought and how it all goes together and uh, trying to make it really simple for anyone that wants to uh, use this kind of technology on their system. So anyway, so I've uh, taken the power off my system now. So I'm gonna show you how it all hooks up now. Um, two of my monitors hook up normally, like any other monitor would, with just a standard DVI into the back of the into the back of the monitor. And those two DVIs come back and hit my uh, graphics card right here. I have an ATI Radeon 5870 in here, and so there's two DVIs there. You can also see an HDMI there and a Display Port. You cannot use the HDMI to power your third monitor. The third monitor must be ran by a display port. That's the way ATI designed it. Um, the HDMI is shared with one of the DVIs, so it will not work correctly. So I'll show you the adapter here I have. This is an Apple um, DVI to mini display port active adapter. Uh, some people have been uh, had some luck with the passive adapters but uh, for the most part this is the solution that works the best on the end of the Apple adapter here I have a USB and a mini display port male this uh, USB here plugs into your computer motherboard of course and powers this adapter uh, some people have been having problems with the motherboard not putting enough power out for this adapter so some people have been buying uh, a separate USB um, power supply to uh, make sure this adapt this active adapter has its uh, full power that what it needs. So from there, um, I had to buy another cable. This cable comes from Circuit Assembly. You can look them online. So I have a female mini Display Port to a male Display Port that plugs into this is going to plug into the graphics card. and uh, basically it's three monitors here this uh, Apple adapter here has my DVI from my third monitor here here's my third monitor and I have the cable here and this cable is going to plug right into this one here and I'll show you a second how it all hooks up okay I got my third monitor now all hooked up here I have uh, my DVI cable going into the Apple product here uh, you can find these on Apple Online or any Apple Store. I walked into the Apple Store; they're about uh, ninety-nine dollars for one of these adapters. It's a little expensive. They were supposed to come out of a cheaper edition, but no one's been able to do it yet. But um, the Apple adapter here. I have the USB plugged up here to the USB to get power. The USB part, and then I have the cable coming down here. The mini Display Port male going into the female Display Port and that cable running up and uh, hooking into the display port on my graphics card here now I'm running a Intel Core i7 overclocked to 4 gigahertz right now all the water cooling is done by Danger Den uh, they built a custom uh, radiator box here for me on the bottom of my computer the whole computer has been uh, torn apart and powder coated lollipop blue um, I'm still working on some a little bit of cable management still. Um, I'm going to be getting a new power supply modular so I can uh, sleeve all the cables here and make it look a little nicer in there. So anyways, I'm going to power this thing up and I'm going to show you how it all works. Okay, I got my computer back on now and uh, it's all running there. All my lights and stuff. So. As you can see on the graphics card, I got uh, two DVIs there. And I got the Display Port cable that's uh, running down into the adapter there and going DVI. And that cable is going up to my last monitor right now for my three monitors here. I'm currently running at uh, four gigahertz here.
that's basically how you hook up Ifinity and uh, I'll just show you the Callus control center here real quick go down to here So you want to go to, when you first hook up Ifinity. You want to go to uh, Desktop and Displays here. It will show you show you this right here. You want to click on this box right here and uh, go down here and hit uh, Create Group. It'll ask you for uh, and you have different arrangements, uh, one by three or three by one. So you can either do portrait or landscape. I do a three by one. You can do one by one by three straight up and down like that but you can also do portrait too I just don't have it uh, enabled right now at the moment so you just hit accept uh, is display correct if you hit no on this right here the blue box will pop up and you have to click on which display is blue so I have three displays here so it's my left my left display here is one that's blue and then ask you to connect the uh, click on the next display and then uh, I'll ask you, is the positioning correct? You hit done. It says, do you want to compensate for the bezels around your displays? Now this is a new option with the Catalyst 10.3. It's a bezel management. So if you wanted to, um, in between the two bezels here, you could actually uh, make this picture, uh, make, your des make the desktop uh, touch each other. So it's really good in games, I guess. A lot of people, it bugs people on on, uh, on games. But uh, in, in my thinking, is if is if I have a, an enemy in the black there, then I can't see him. If I'm out sniping or somewhere on the map, I actually want to see everything in the game. So a lot of people have been asking for his bezel management. ATI finally uh, got around and uh, put it out with their latest uh, driver set. So anyways, um, that's... Uh, my demonstration of how to hook up Ifinity using three uh, monitors that have a DVI out. Uh, this also works a little better with a DisplayPort monitor, but the DisplayPort DisplayPort monitors are kind of rare. Uh, I know one company, Dell, makes a lot of them. I originally had Dell monitors um, on order, but they kept on getting back ordered for like a month. I finally canceled that order and went with this uh, setup here. I couldn't wait any longer. Um, these are active adapters. Uh, there's three companies that currently, uh, or actually four companies that I know about that actually sell these adapters. They're Apple, it's Dell, Sapphire makes one, and uh, a company called Excel, A C C E L L. Uh, the Excel one you can find on Amazon.com, Sapphire one I think you can find on Newegg. Apple, of course, from the Apple Store, and Dell's from the Dell Store. So, anyways, if you have any questions, uh, please leave your comments on the YouTube video here and uh, thanks for coming today.